Everyone knows an XLR cable has three pins, but what's the third pin for? It's a mono signal, audio has plus and minus, so why the extra pin? That's because an XLR cable, like a lot of pro audio equipment, is balanced. It's a really clever idea from whoever came up with it, Mr. Balance. Anyway, cables act like antennas, so they always pick up interference. It's usually a hum of some sort, there's no voiding this, so the solution is to cancel out the noise. And this is the clever part. At the source, the signal gets sent twice. One regular signal and one with its phase flipped. Flipping phase means the audio waves do the exact opposite of the normal signal. And if you would combine the two, they would cancel each other out and you would hear nothing. We can use this in our favor. At the receiving end, the flipped signal is being flipped back to normal. So it matches the original. But by flipping that signal, all of the noise picked up in the cable is flipped with it, making it out of phase noise. So when you combine the two lines, the original signal is intact and the noise is being cancelled out.